Hey everybody, this is Kim here. This will be my first video on English. Uh, I'm from the Netherlands. I just recorded my first video on Dutch. Uh, and I want to do the same subject for my English and my uh, foreign friends. Uh, because they don't understand Dutch and I do my best to speak on English. Um, the first thing I want to speak to, to you uh, is about what I'm drinking in the morning. Uh, the reason I want to tell you this is because this water uh, will help you to drop your migraines, drop your headache, uh, to reassure yourself that you, um, you are not dehydrated. So this is Kangen water 9.5. It is a special water, it's uh, alkaline water, uh, but you can use, for example, for starters, you can use your normal tap water uh, if you feel convenient or bottled water. Uh, so in the morning you will drink one big glass of water and you will add some lemon juice, but fresh. I always use a whole lemon uh, and I will put it all inside and I, I like the meat of the lemon, so uh, I do that also in my glass. So that is that. This is wonderful for um, stabilizing your body and to detoxify your body. Uh, the other thing that I put inside my water is the Celtic sea salt. Um, it contains 84 minerals and it will help your body uh, to readjust uh, to the normal balance, um, to, to alkaline your body more. That is very nice for your health. So just a little bit of, of salt and you will add it to your drinking water. If you have a migraine or a headache, I would tell use one small spoon, all spoon put inside and you will feel amazed. So that about the water. Now, uh, a lot of questions I get from my friends or from my patients uh, is how to make a green smoothie. Um, I experienced for myself that it's, um, it's, it's not that hard. You can put everything you want inside a smoothie. So we'll give you an example today. Um, I first start with 750 milliliters of water and in that I will put all the nutrients. We will start with hemp seed. Hemp seed is um, full of proteins. Um, this is the whole hemp seed and this is the peeled hemp seed. This one is easier to digest than this one, but I, we will use them both. So this is the peeled hemp seed and the whole hemp seed. Then we have other seeds and I don't know at this moment the correct name, but this I will put inside too. This is chia seeds, a little bit inside. And this is on Dutch broken lijnzaad. I don't know the name, I'm sorry. I will come back to this. Um, okay, the next step is to use spinach. I love, uh, as a basic, to use spinach. Put it inside the water. <clears throat> spinach uh, consists a lot of chlorophyll. The chlorophyll is from the, the sun that is put it in the plant. So all the plants that are green have a lot of chlorophyll and it's very high, healthy. It's like you eating the sun. It's like a boost of sun if you're eating these vegetables. Then I will put an avocado. Avocado is full of proteins. Uh, all your, your essential amino acids uh, is inside this, uh, this vegetable. So we will put this in the blender too. Another part. I had some cucumber left, so I will put some cucumber inside. Like that. And I like the taste of a sweet uh, smoothie, so my choice always is to put a whole mango, but I didn't have that today in my, in my fridge, so it will be a whole banana. So we'll put whole banana just to make it a little bit more sweet, the flavor of the smoothie. And then another ingredient. These are sprout vegetables. It, uh, it means like it's the first baby plant uh, like a radish, uh, like alfalfa, like uh, broccoli, but just the sprout plant. And it contains a lot of phytonutrients and a lot of antioxidants. So we will put this also inside to have the best sm smoothie shake ever. This one. 
These are a little bit spicy because it's from radish, but you have also alfalfa, it's very soft, so you can choose the ones you like. That is that. Now, I always, uh, always put some extra additives. Uh, this is raw cacao, raw cocoa. Uh, it's for the taste very nice, but it also contains a lot of antioxidants. So a little bit of this. Actually, you can put everything you want inside the smoothie. This is the maca. It will give you very nice energy. Uh, I mean, it's from the Andes Mountains. Uh, let me see, I wrote it down. Yeah, it's from the Andes Mountains. And it gives you very a lot of power. Your body gives it power. The spirulina. Um, this is very green. You can see the, the phytonutrients. You can see the chlorophyll. Uh, this is very healthy. It contains a lot of vitamins and minerals. Uh, also, all uh, essential uh, amino acids is inside this. Last but not least, on Dutch it's called tarwegras. It's, again, I don't know exactly the name on, uh, on English, but it's like a wheat. And it contains a lot of fibers, uh, vitamin C and a folium acid. And that is very healthy um, when you, for example, expecting a baby in the first phase of your pregnancy. It's very healthy, but also for people who are not pregnant like this okay now and that's all we have a, a, a very nice green shake now we will blend it and then it's done i can see i forgot something close your ears a little bit <laughs> So here you have it, my green smoothie is done. You know now how to make a green smoothie, but you can put everything inside that you like. The vegetables you like, the, the fruits you like, just make a nice combination. And when you drink the smoothie, um, don't, don't just think on the, the taste, but think on all the nutrients and all the vitamins and antioxidants that you're receiving from this nice drink. Um, on that you will tell post. So I have my water, I have my green smoothie, uh, and I wish you all a very nice day. If you have any questions, write them uh, below and uh, I will try to answer them. Bye!